Hello, I'm Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today we are going to move into Adobe Photoshop and we're going to import our logo and we're going to begin designing a mock-up for the landing page or the home page of our uh, website. So uh, as always, check out designcourse.com and if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so you're going to need access to a project file in order to get started, which is just a 12 grid uh, PSD file. So if you just go to uh, designcourse.com and find this video or in description here on YouTube, you can uh, register for a free account real quick and have access to that uh, project file, basically. And so I'm going to be opening up that file. It's grid.psd right here. And I'm going to hit Control-1 and... That gets me to 100%, but because I'm working at a 1280 by 720 resolution, I can't see everything when it's zoomed up. So I'm just going to take the magnifying glass and just uh, zoom out once, and that gets me to 66.7, and that way I can see everything. All right, so I'm just going to go up here. It's a pretty tall document. We're not going to use all of it at all, but I, I just have that set by default. So this right here... This uh, group right here is uh, just the columns. And if you've never done responsive web design before or, or really designed with a grid in mind, you know, don't worry too much about it. Uh, you'll see how it works as we go along. So uh, the first thing we want to do, of course, is import the actual logo that we created from yesterday. So I'll include that as well. Uh, if you didn't design your own logo, uh, I'll, I'll include the one that I did. So you want to open that up which I just paused and opened that up. I wasn't sure what folder that was in. Uh, and that's uh, basically, I had three artboards here, one for a colored version and a black version and a white version. We just want this one right here. And the resolution changed that to, uh, I think I'm gonna go actually a little bit smaller, like around 50 and hit okay. And control A and then control C to copy that and close that out. And then control V to paste that in. And take your move tool, and we'll just move this straight to the top. And I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller, so Control or Command T, hold Shift and Alt, and then left click and drag that down. Roughly right around that size. Alright. And we'll have this grid at the top. Okay. Alright, so I was trying to think, you know, what is the best way to structure the first page that a person sees you know a, a brand new person they never re registered yet they haven't used it this is the first time they've seen it so what is the best way to go about uh creating this landing page well i thought to myself okay well anybody who's interested in bartering they they need something or they want something and secondly they can have different things that they can offer okay so that's two things they want something and they have something that they're willing to give up for it. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to put is a headline. And then we'll address those other two issues. So the headline, let's go ahead and get the grid view out. Or make it visible. And we'll take the uh, type tool. I'm using Source Stands Pro. I use that a lot in my video tutorials just because... You know, if, if enough of you have followed it, you already have it installed. Otherwise, I'll link it, and you, it's a free font, and you can find that in Google, or I'll just link uh, the link to that here in the description. All right, so this is just going to be a single line of text. So we want to left-click and drag from that very first column all the way to the last 12th column, just right around here. And then we want to center that right there. So this is going to be our headline. And this is something that you would absolutely want to split test. So if you're not sure what split testing is, basically, you know, usually the first idea that you come up with for copy, for example, uh, it's not always the one that's going to result in the, the most people using or completing whatever the desired action is. So the first one I came up with is need something, question mark. Someone might want to bar. Okay, so let me increase that by quite a bit, and we'll make that black. And for this font size, I'm just going to try 50. Yeah, a little bit too big, so I'm going to try like 38. I'm also going to push this down, hold shift, and just left click and drag right around here. 
And I want this, this again, to be real simple. This is pretty much, this is going to be a squeeze page. So a squeeze page is like a landing page, except the only action that they really should be able to take is to click on a button that's going to reside over here. So, you know, just like with Google, very simple landing page. And I, uh, that's what we want to go after that type of feel. All right. So basically now what we want to do is address those other two issues. So there's going to be two text boxes, one where they specify their wants or needs, and then the other one where they can specify what they have to offer. All right. So there is, there's, there will also be a line of text down here that kind of just specifies, you know, separate your wants and your offers with a comma. So that way, if a person needs multiple things, they can separate it with a comma. And if they have multiple things to offer, they could do the same. All right. So basically, let's get our grid out here and let's take our rounded rectangle tool. I have the radius at seven. And starting here, left click and drag. I'm holding Alt because if I don't, it does this. So right around four column widths, just like that. All right, so let me hide that real quick. I'm going to make the background color white and then hit Control H to get rid of the outlines there. Double click on this and we're gonna make the stroke here one pixel. And I'd say right around 8E, 8E, 8E for the color code. Hit OK. I'm going to zoom up just to see what this looks like so far at 100%. All right. So I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to type in here, I need this. Make sure it's left aligned. And I'm going to change the color here. This is going to be placeholder text in the actual input. And I'm going to change this to do maybe about 32. All right. Then we're going to take both of those. Let's get the grid back out and duplicate that. So right click, duplicate the layers or control shift D. That's the shortcut key that I set up, which I will do from now on. And we'll take the direct selection tool and we'll make this one grid longer. So hit control H. So you can see that, hold shift and just take it out one grid longer. Oops. Make sure we select on there and then we can edit. I can offer this. All right. And then we can uh, create a button right here. So this will be our call to action and we will duplicate that layer. I'm going to move it up top. Let's call this button. And I'm going to move it over with the move tool holding shift. And then I will take the direct selection tool again, just select those on the right hand side, hold shift and scale it into three uh, grid columns. All right, so let's hide that. And so let's get rid of the stroke or the effects and change the color to this green right here. I got to select it, hit OK. And then we can go ahead in here and put in our call to action text, find matches. All right, and we'll make that color white. Let's move it over. You can use your arrow keys as well to adjust that. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna create a custom magnifying glass icon, basically. All right, so my Skype's on. I should close that one second. Well, hopefully they don't keep talking to me. All right, so anyhow, I, I'm going to take uh, the ellipse tool right here, hold shift, left click and drag right around that size, and we'll get rid of the fill Oops, up here. And you could also do that up here. And then also give it a stroke color of white. And that should be white. And then increase the width here. Right around there looks good, which is like 3.2. And then go ahead and we'll take the rounded rectangle tool real quick and then just left click and drag down holding Alt. And then hit Control T, hold Shift, 
so it's at a 45 degree angle select the move tool hit apply move it over right around there so let's hit control one we're gonna have to scale this down just a tad bit holding shift select the move tool again right around there looks pretty okay all right so so far so good I'm gonna zoom out back here again all right so now I what I want to do is add that little piece of text down here so we will take the move tool hit control or command and then left click on need something and then we will duplicate that text We're holding control shift D or right clicking the layer and hitting duplicate layer and just right around here a little bit down further and we'll change the font size as well to I'm going to try 20 and we will type in separate your wants and offers with a comma babysitter washer fixed cheap car and then we'll take those examples and make them a darker green color right around here now let's go to 100 percent and see what this looks like okay so that looks pretty decent all right so let me uh, zoom out there's one final thing i want to add which is a login for people who already have uh who have already used the site basically so if we get out our grid here and come up here and just type in login here We'll have to align that, hide the grid, and it's white, so that's why we can't see it. Just a pretty, like a gray color right around there. And let me go to 100% here. And that size is 20, which I may make 18. And then we will make that a noticeable link by underlining it, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out. And that is basically the very first page. Very simple. And the reason I'm not showing any other, like any of the potential listings is because when you start out and you don't have any, well, it's not very, people aren't going to want to use it. So that's my idea or reasoning behind not showing initial listings. All right. So, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure you save this. I'm going to save it as, I don't want to overwrite my project file. We'll just call this, uh, home step one okay also another thing to note if you really want to increase your chances of people entering their needs and their offers uh, there's two things that you could add um, basically once you get a lot of people putting in their information you can it'd probably be worth putting in uh, a number count like maybe like 2,560 active barterers or something up here. Uh, and then also you could, if you have, if you ever get any type of media coverage or, or mentions, you could put those, those logos down here, like as seen in or whatever, that really does help to increase uh, conversions. So just as something to note. Uh, all right. So that's going to be it for today. And then tomorrow, basically I'm going to, we're going to create the second step. So when a person clicks on find matches, it's not going to Im immediately show them the matches because we still need a couple more pieces of information. So that will be three pieces of information. One will be the, uh, the email address, and then the second will be their city, and then the third will be their state. So you could include the country, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make this only just for the United States, just where I am, it's gonna make it a little bit more simple. Uh, but you can still emulate the same thing if you're in a different country, it's no problem. But, uh, but yeah, so the email address, city, and then state. And the reason I wouldn't include this initially on this page is just because it would be too much information and that would definitely decrease our chances of people actually using this and entering this. So when they click find matches, it's just going to say something like, great, just one more step. And then I'll have your email, city, state, and then uh, basically a, a very similar call to action button. And then it will mention down here an email is required in order to save your information and it won't be shared or whatever. So yeah, very simple. I uh, 
so yeah, uh, if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here and check out our Facebook page. I have all the different uh, social media pages. We have uh, Google, YouTube, of course, and uh, Twitter and Facebook. So check those out. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.